Hey folks, Jeff Salzman here and welcome to The Daily Evolver. Today, I am joined by um, the man who is behind the integral event of the year. And that is the Integral European Conference, which will commence on May 22nd in just six weeks in um, at Lake Bekail in uh, Hungary. That's it's it. in Hungary, it's at Lake Balaton. Balaton, okay, yeah. sorry. Um, and welcome, Ben Sagante. Thank you. Yes. Hello, everyone. So, Ben, so you're in, um, you say you're in a hideaway in the mountains north of Budapest? Yes, I came for the weekend for a little cottage on the, in the mountains. So, so that's why I'm calling in 9 p.m. Central European time now. Yeah, well, welcome. It, it takes me back to the first European conference, which was six years ago. And, um, and I attended. And like this conference, you had a bus tour at the end, where yes. it was just a, a bus full of integralists <laughs> exactly. riding around Hungary. And the mountains are so beautiful. I'm actually on that very spot where we, we took you and where the drumming was, like a few, yes. a few hundred yards from that spot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, 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 and maybe this is a good way to introduce you to, the, to my listeners, many of whom know you, but uh, for those who don't, Bense is somebody really interesting and very significant in the integral community, I think. And, uh, and one of the ways I think of him is, you know, he's just so integral himself. He, he was talking about leading a drumming circle in the mountains of Hungary. And it was just a beautiful and very effective evocation of sort of that tribal indigenous kind of spirit, the nature spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're a psychologist. You started the Integral Academy, which is a three-year program, a very intensive program for integral training for adults. Uh, the integral flow process. And then you're also a mogul. Man, I mean, you put this conference together and you're, you know, managing these groups of people. And it's a big conference. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to make sure that people see the whole Bense here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Bense, so uh, why don't you give us a little bit of just an overview of what you've got cooking over there and, um, yeah. and how we should think about it? Okay, so we are going to have the third integral european conference uh, from the 22nd to the 27th of may and this is the third integral european conference in a row every two years we have them so we have the first one in 2014 when jeff you were with us here and then in 2016 and now in 2018 so and by now the conference grew bigger than before and it's really a global conference with a European focus, or a global integral conference on, on, on the European continent, because uh, it's not restricted to Europeans. A lot of folks are flying over from the US, from Canada. You know, people are coming from Mexico, from, from uh, uh, South America, from Asia, from Africa, actually, South Africa. So it's mm -hmm. truly a global conference with, of course, a lot of Europeans in it. Mm -hmm. No, it's an interesting group, uh, and, and one of the things that, well, first of all, one of the things that's always, I think, so special and, and maybe an emergent quality of integral is when you put integral people together, there's an instant sort of intimacy, or at least potential for that. It's real easy to evoke, uh, and, 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 and there's, especially for those of us here at the U.S. who who sort of have this idea that Ken Wilber's here and Steve McIntosh is here and there's all these cool people here and the integral is, you know, a U.S. phenomenon. It's not. And so there's a distinct international flavor and yet sort of a recognition and intimacy. And I really loved it. I thought it was a really great vibe. Hmm. Yes, you are right, Jeff. Uh, it's, it's very international and very, very culturally diverse. Like a lot of countries are approximately 30 to 40 countries are coming and uh, I have been to almost all of the integral theory conferences and the what next conference and the integral spiritual experience. So basically almost all of the integral major events that that occurred in the US 
and actually that inspired us uh, some some of us Europeans to create an integral European conference and uh, we consciously timed the IECs so that it doesn't conflict with the integral theory conferences in the US so every other year we had alternating years one and the other and uh, in the last two years I think or three years the integral theory conference didn't happen so so somehow this became now one of the, or the, the, the biggest international integral event where people can go if they want to meet the global tribe. So, um, and yeah. it, there is intimacy, as you said, basically two qualities, high quality intellect or high spirit, like everybody's you know, pretty smart and, and right on, and an intimacy, op, op, willing to, to share, willing to listen, you know, willing to to honestly, you know, conversate. So, mm -hmm. so it's a very good quality uh, crowd, and and for many of us, probably for you, but for me for sure, going to such conferences is basically like like going to a reference group, like the global reference group of of integralists. Mm -hmm. And it's almost important that we not only interact through online media, but we also meet sometimes physically. That's mm -hmm. it's just another you know depth of, of connection yeah no for sure and i'm really sorry i can't make it this year but just set the scene for us uh, yes so it, it's it's not in budapest the first one was no. you're yeah. out in the lake exactly so we are out one hour west from budapest budapest actually is the capital of hungary so people will fly into to the budapest airport and then we are going to transfer them with, with we organize transfer from the airport to the hotel, uh, which is an hour west from Budapest. There's a huge lake. It's uh, the, the, the biggest sweetwater lake in continental Europe. We call it the Hungarian Sea. It's actually smaller, but we would like to see it as a sea, but it's pretty big enough to, to, to have a beautiful nature setting. And it's actually the same size like the San Francisco Bay. So if you folks know the Bay Area, that's the size of this lake. So, and there is a resort town that uh, most people go in the summer to party and, and for holiday. It's called Shiofok. So we are going to uh, be in Shiofok in that town uh, on the lake shore in a four-star spa hotel. It's called Hotel Azur. And last time, two years ago, we were at the same venue. So we find this venue and it proved to be um, you know, perfect venue for, for this occasion because we expect five to 600 people. So we need a huge ballroom that can house that amount of people. And then we have 10 breakout rooms. Uh, each can host 60 people. So we can divide 600 people to 60s of 10 parallel sessions. So we have 250 offerings, Jeff. So it's, it's very mm -hmm. rich, a lot of presentations. I'll, and I'll put up some of the- uh, uh, Go ahead and put it up. Here. Yeah, hang on here. Yeah, share the website with the viewers. So there's the, web, there's the opening website, Allies of Evolution. That's the title, you're yeah. right, Allies of Evolution. Yeah, and let's just pause there for a second. Okay. Uh, uh, Benson, because I really like that title. And it, it feels like a, just a great description of integral in general. Hmm. I mean, we're friends to the whole system. You know, <laughs> we're, we're dedicated to the health of the whole spiral. Exactly. And, you know, and, and in so doing, we are allies of evolution. We're co-creating, you know, the emer emergence itself. Yes. Maybe you want to adjust the screen because I see only the upper... Oh, okay. Left part of 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 the website. Okay. So that why you be, doing I think that? I do these. I, okay. I do that. Hang on here. There we go. Is that better? No. Oh, it's actually worse. <laughs> it's huge now. We see all. Oh, I From, know what I, I know what I should do. Okay. Actually, we see it close up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what I need to do is a. People, people can see the, we'll the edit this out. You live folks, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> right here. a little play with the Mac and yeah. you might feel it. How to, in the meantime, let me talk about the title, Elias. You see the first three letter of that, Elias of Evolution. 
and we see kind of the the rays that are going to one point representing the colors of of, of uh, the stages so you are right that we integralists are allies of evolution in the sense that we all believe that there is evolution you know we all believe there are stages of it that uh, evolution is unfolding in a sequential uh, stage stages and most of us use some of the stage models. Most of us, of course, use Wilbur's models, but some use spirodynamics or some use uh, uh, other models like Susan Kugreuter or Torbert. So, but what is common in all of us is that we are all basically uh, believing in evolution, believing in stages, use some stage models, and we dedicate our lives and work to this kind of thinking and translate that to, to our activities. So in that sense, we are allies of evolution. And the playground is pretty west here at, at the IEC. So basically anyone can come who, who feels that uh, this criteria is true for him or her and uh, you know, use Wilbur's model or any other model that uh, typically the integral community refers to, you know, and share, share their work, share their their experience and uh, basically that's that's all i see about yeah so you you start with um actually there's a pre-session with suzanne yeah. cooperator and yeah do you want to click on the on the program yeah we'll menu do. yeah yeah we are actually seeing a huge yeah that's that's exactly there there we go there we are so if you look at the left part of the screen, we see that before the main conference, there's the pre-conference and before the pre-conference, there's a certification course weekend before the whole IEC. And we offer two courses before IEC. One is Susan Cook Reuters developing leadership maturity program for coaches, leaders and individuals. So basically if you want to meet Susan Cook Reuters and you want to learn from her in person, then this is a great opportunity. She's going to give this course with, with uh, Paddy Pampalis from South Africa and, and Bina from, from California and India. So, and this is the last time Suzanne comes to Europe actually, because she wants to, you know, concerning her age she want, and, and family, she wants to, I think, you know, retire. So those folks who want to meet Suzanne and learn personally from her, and get a certificate uh, from her then then please come and if you scroll down a little bit bef below Susan Cook Reuters there is spiral dynamics level two so we also offer before the conference a spiral dynamics level two workshop with uh, if you scroll down even a little bit more uh, with, with Teddy a little bit up <laughs> right now yeah with Teddy Hebel Larson from Denmark Rika Viljoen from South Africa and Sergei Stony from Russia. And of course, Don Beck will be invited by live video stream. Last time before I see, we had a level one course with Don Beck in Budapest. At this time he comes on, on a video stream and you know, Teddy and the team are going to teach people. It's, it's very interactive and very you know, alive when this kind of Third generation spiral dynamics is teaching. Second generation would be Don Beck. First generation would be, you know, his own master and teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Kerry Graves. And the third generation are the, the former students of, of, of Don who are now basically applying and teaching spiral. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, two of the major models that Ken Wilber used to refer, you know, one is Suzanne Kugreuters and, and the other is Don Beck. And, you know, we are, we are so glad to have those courses. And then if you, actually the integral facilitators are also having their course during those days, uh, but that's closed for their students, but they are also located to, to Budapest. So before the whole conference starts, Budapest will be on full s swing of integralists already. Right. Uh, in the previous week, around 100 people will be already in town and uh, and that that's in budapest and and on monday everybody will will travel down to shiofo to, to hotel azur the actual venue of iec 
So, and then you see the pre-conference part, the 22nd Tuesday and 23rd Wednesday. Those days are workshop days. So we offer pre-conference workshops. And if you scroll down a little bit, there is the boat party. Great, I love the boat party. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Hold on a little more, please. It's on Tuesday. A little more, a little more. There it is. The welcoming boat party is is on on uh, actually it's on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday evening, and that's where the integral community will meet at the first time, because before that they will be in different workshop rooms or, or the pre trainings. But here everybody comes together for the first welcome, and we're actually going to uh, embark an actual boat on on. On Lake Balaton for a two-hour ride and there will be of course dinner served and socializing and after that a spiritual uh, word music band is coming to the boat uh, and is embarking with us and uh, Samsara Boulevard is the name and they are going to give us a, a, a concert and we're going to join them in singing and, and probably dancing. So, so it's going to be, you know, a party night, you know, kind of in the spiritual blend, you know. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I love the boat party. We went up the Danube. Yeah, we that in, time we were in Budapest. In, in Budapest. We went the Danube. And now exactly. we're going out of the lake. Exactly. Now it's a lake time. Now, if you, if you scroll up to the top again, uh, we see on on Wednesday afternoon. There, there's the actual conference starting. You need to scroll down a little bit, even more, more, more. That's, that's where we are, yeah. So basically, myself and Barbara von Maibom, we are opening the conference. Barbara is from Germany. She is a professor of, of politics and also a psychotherapist and a constellator. So a perfect blend of, of political science, culture, and actually working with groups and people as a group therapist. And uh, she is the, the anchor woman and myself, I'm the anchor man for the conference. So basically the two of us, uh, he and she, you know, we are going to, to host this conference together. So we are going to give an opening talk. I'm usually talking more about the integral side of the street and she's talking more about the, 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 the cultural, situ cultural political situation side of the street. What's happening now in Europe, you know, what's happening in the world, because we use the IEC conferences um, not only to, to share knowledge, but, but to, to, to use the opportunity of this multicultural gathering on reflecting on the world political and cultural situation, of course, with a focus of, on Europe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, let's pause there. Because, okay, let's do that. Um, that is, um, you know, that's what's up. Yeah, it, maybe you want to, and, and maybe you want to end sharing the screen for yeah, this. You're right. And then you're right. Come back you're to right. It. You're right. Yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So, um, you know, all of the political upheaval here in the United States, in Europe. Uh, in the developed world, the sort of backlash against modernity and post-modernity, yeah. uh, the sort of wanting to shore up the national identity. Um, again, as integralists, we can see and be friends with all of it. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and, and, and what I loved about it, this was six years ago. It hadn't even heated up yet. We thought it had, but it hadn't. Uh, and you did a lot of uh, sort of metabolizing of that in a way that was, uh, you know, intellectual for sure, but also not intellectual, you know, also yeah. more on the emotional side. And um, so how, how are you approaching it this year? Well, this year we are going to give a, a, a huge constellation process like you experienced the first one six years ago, but we have I further remember, developed. I remember I had to, I had to play the U.S. Exactly. You, you did play the U.S. yourself, but uh, <laughs> we, the second one was, was much deeper, Jeff. And uh, it was even to us, the constellators who were leading, it was mind blowing and surprising. And uh, it lasted for five hours. Oh my God. We wanted, we planned three hours, but at the third hour when we 
cognitively thought we should finish, there was no way of finishing. You know, 300 people will, uh, were in the room at that time. Uh, for, uh, 450 were at the conference, but 300 came for the processing that evening. And, you know, they were just deeply, without words for music, they were deeply in the process. And, and then we let it go fully after three hours and we unleashed a complete self-organizing, you know, group process where 300 people we were together in a nonverbal process. And it went into a beautiful, you know, mass unity experience with a lot of healing happening. And it went on for another two hours when actually at, at a particular moment, the whole group was done, you know, it was settled. And I looked at my watch uh, and it was zero hour, zero, zero minute. So it was midnight. Nobody knew the time, so it was just happening. It was midnight, it was full moon, and it was the anniversary of the end of the Second World War. Good Lord. That calls me. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. And what's so beautiful that it's, uh, it's, it's of course, moderated at the base. So we gradually, from, from the ordinary state of mind, we gradually go into it. And at the depth of it, we let it go fully free and self-organizing. Nobody is allowed to talk in, in, in that two, three-hour period. So there's a long, deep, intense, nonverbal, you know, mass uh, experience that that happens with people mm -hmm. and we're going to do this year again on friday after fr friday evening and of course the topic is europe and the world so we are going this is a constellation process so we are going to constellate set up the countries of europe the major political cultural um, energies or things that are happening like refugees somebody will be the refugees somebody will be the you know, war, somebody will be peace, somebody will be, you know, modernity, postmodernity, pre-modernity, and the many countries. And we are also going to put in other continents or countries which are non-Europeans. And then, you know, we let this, you know, this field play out itself. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are going, that, that's the deepest part, how, how we are going to work with the cultural, political realities that are out there now. Right. And then of course they all come up in the various topics and you know, the of course. sessions and all of that sort of thing. Yes. And yeah. you know, I remember uh, when, when, it would, when I was there two, two conferences ago, there was, you know, the conflict at that time was pretty hot between Russia and the Ukraine. Yes. We had both sets of people there. There's a lot of Russian integralists. There's a lot of Ukraine. Exactly. And we did just fine. We did fine. <laughs> Probably integralists aren't the nationalist ones from in their countries. <laughs> no, I know. So we we did better, probably better than most. But uh, yes, yeah, but yeah, it's 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 really a service, Ben. Say, let me thank you for that. To create an opportunity for the pe people to come in and have that kind of an experience. That is an experience that you know it's an altered state, but it, it also <laughs> nudges us up the stages. Yes. And, um, and so that's a, it's a great thing. Yes, so that time Ukraine and, and, and Russia were at conflict. They are, they are still at conflict. But right. after that time, the whole refugee crisis started to happen in 2015, a year later. And uh, basically, at the last conference, the refugee topic was, you know, up front because of this. And... Uh, at that time, it was fresh, and there was a lot of reactions from different countries. So you got the blue reaction of, of Hungary, which was a regression from orange Hungary to, to blue reaction. And there was the open-hearted green reaction from Angela Merkel and then the Swedes, Sweden uh, or, or Netherlands, you know, compassionately welcoming and a lot of benefit and social, you know, sensitivity. But... Even those things have changed in the last three, two years. Yeah. Because, because even the green hearted you know, countries experience the downside of an uncontrolled influx of, yeah. of unregistered you know, people. So, so now there's a, there's a total turmoil in, 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 in the continent. So, what shall we do? You know, people don't want to regress those green countries to 
to blue, but they need to be a little more blue because there should be some border control and registration and, and the numbers of people should be allowed or not allowed. So, so it's, it's still an issue, you know, in, in, uh, in the making mm -hmm. and, and unresolved. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, it's, it surely will be, to a certain extent, topic of the conference. We don't want to make the whole conference dedicated for this, but it will be part of it because we yeah. are in Europe. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, then, um, of course, you'll be working on consciousness, culture, yes. um, uh, you know, allies of evolution. Yes. So what are some of the other sort of highlights or, you know, speakers that you would want to highlight that um, uh, you're excited yes. about? Do you want to maybe show the viewers? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. Oh, <laughs> you don't I, have to. I, no, no, I can do it. Uh, <laughs> the, the homepage shows the keynote speakers. I, I know. We can start I, with them. For some reason, I am. <laughs> Hang on. Nope. So while you are trying to share the screen, we have 15 keynote speakers and 250 presenters. So of course we, can, we cannot cover all the presenters during this call because it's a lot, but uh, we can maybe look at the keynote speakers or some of them and then talk some of the, the sections probably. So if you go to the home page. Uh, yeah, I think I just did, right? Then just scroll down, and then you you start to see the oh, there the. They are. Yeah, we know the first guy, don't we? Ken Wilber. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Wilber is kicking it off. God he's bless him. Off. Uh, yes, he's he's going to be with us on on live video stream. We know that due to health reasons, he cannot travel overseas. So he wanted to come actually, but he, 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 he doesn't want to risk health. So he right. stayed at yeah. home, but comes not in pre-recorded, but in live, you know, video stream. And he's going to share, you know, what's the latest from, from him. Basically, he came out with two new books, uh, Integral Meditation and then The Religion of Tomorrow. And of course, a big, big article on on trump so so i'm, I'm sure he's going to yeah. bring in elements of those and here's roger walsh he's coming in person he's you know he was the mentor of ken wilber as we know and and he's just uh, you know the guy for meditation and ethics for the integral community and the voice of the elders basically an elder who was the mentor of ken himself in his 20s or, or 30s that's right and, and he's, he's a natural bridge between the transpersonal movement, transpersonal psychology and integral psychology. So if, if and, and at this point, let me tell you a very interesting and sizzling topic that also Jorge Ferrer is coming to the conference, who is known as one of the main critics of Ken Wilber. And uh, he represents the, the participatory, you know, transpersonalism. So we welcome him with, with all his critics, but we also have a very good and heart-centered relationship. So we want to transcend the, you know, the male shadow of disagreeing in the mind, you know, making people not talk to each other. Right on. And we, we are going to make a hot debate on main stage with Roger Walsh, Jorge Ferrer, myself, uh, after Bomer from Meridian University, California, to discuss the relationship of transpersonal psychology and integral psychology. Right on. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's you'll, another. You'll make news. I'll report <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. So do you want to scroll to the right so we see more keynoters? Well, this is all I can do is scroll up or down. Okay, so we see Diane Hamilton is coming over. Yep. And uh, yeah, the Zen, the Zen of you and me, and you know, kind of a, a master facilitator of, of large group processes blended with Zen. Yeah. That, that she sister, also sister Diane is good. And she can. And for you, sister, isn't she? Exactly. I mean, uh, how many events have I done with Diane? 
And yeah, I can. Is, yeah. Nobody can whip a group into shape like her. Maybe you, actually, <laughs> but she. <laughs> you know, Jeff, that's why you should come. Maybe you should reconsider because Di will be there, you know. I know, Diane, Terry, a lot of my good buddies. Are gonna yeah, be and there. if you would come, the three of you, you really like are the backbones of American integralism. So. Yeah. So we should feature that, you know. Yeah, not this year, but I'll it's reconsider. It's rare to have all I'll of you guys. next time. Together. Anyway, so Olen Gunlaugson created the We Space Practice, you know, compilation book, a, a book that, that he wrote about the We Space Practices, and he created the We Space Summit, and we invited him to keynote this year, and we're also going to have a We Space track, so every day there will be, you know, workshops dedicated to this topic. And uh, now that's, that's basically hot in the integral community internationally yeah. to a, a, a focus shift to, to whispers, practices, lower left quadrant practices. Mutual uh, enlightenment. Exactly. You know, it the really is a real the, thing. Uh, exactly. The new Buddha is the Sangha, etc. So, so, you know, discovering the psycho-spiritual yeah, you know, higher stages and states uh, with the group practices. Right. That's I, mean, I see you have Raymond Moody. Exactly. Go that's ahead. That's very different there. And that, uh, what a, yeah. welcome, a welcome surprise. Can, can you show us on the screen, probably? I mean, I, I, it, I, as far as I know, I am putting this screen up. I mean, is, is that not him? No. We, we see Diane to the, to the right side and He's even more to the right. Anyway, if it doesn't work, let's just talk about Raymond yeah, Moody, exactly. yeah. who is also in this gallery. Actually, the viewers can go to the integral European conference.com and write, they, they find there these faces, 15 faces. So, so Raymond Moody is the father of non-death experiences, right? He was the one who coined this term, I think in 1975, when, you know, people didn't, talk about it, didn't research near, near that experience. It, it was just happening silently on, 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 on hospitals, you know, and he started to look at these people and, and interview them, collect their stories, and he coined this term that they, these folks seem to have a similar experience, and he named it near death experience, and that's how this whole, you know, research started on the subject. Now everybody talks near death experience, subconscious, etc. Subconscious was created by Freud a hundred years ago, you know, and, and near death was created by Moody. So he's coming in person. He's in his 80s, a very senior age. And uh, we met at the Transpersonal Conference actually last year. And we made a good friendship and he was interested in the integral movement. So I invited him to the integral conference. So yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I sure know his work. And I also know that, you know, Near death experience is, um, you know, some of the most scientifically vetted sort of claims for transpersonal reality. Exactly. And so I take that seriously. And a yeah. lot of people in the integral world take it seriously. And I, yeah. you know, so uh, bravo for having them. So it's a good representation of spirituality in the integral yeah. conference. Right. And then, of course, we have Susan Kugreuter as a keynoter. And he's not only going to speak, uh, but he's going to lead a process for the whole crowd after her keynote, together with uh, uh, Doshin, Nelson Roshi, mm -hmm. that you might know from the Boulder. Of course. I'm in the Denver, Boulder area. Yeah, uh, founder and of Integral Zen here in Denver. Integral Zen, so there Roshi, you go. Roshi, yeah. So Suzanne teams up with Integral Zen, and uh, also there is a, a Scandinavian um, therapist called Angela Bogohal Vorsen, and she is working with the clown principle. Like oh, she really? actually, yeah, she actually puts on the clown, you know, knows the red thing, and and sometimes she she wears clown dress, and she basically teases out from you the the playful, you know inner child playful side of you and with that all kinds of stuff so basically this clown lady doshin and susan kugreuter together will lead a major process for the <laughs> <laughs> wow that, that, that sounds very integral a lot of things very integral. coming together there's gonna be 
fun and ego wrecking <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so, so th that's uh, that's Suzanne and 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 Doshin is also going to keynote himself. In, uh, so, and there is another very interesting person. I'm personally excited about her. Her name is um, Christiane Seuss Schoeller. I think she's not known in the American scene, but she's increasingly known in the European scene. She was the she was among the first ones who introduced holacracy that time. You know, she, so she's coach and and consultancy for companies. Mm -hmm. And she did holacracy for more than a decade. And partly she was satisfied, but then she was unsatisfied. And she teamed up with the founder of holacracy. Uh, it was founded by by Brian and and Tom Thomason. Mm -hmm. And Tom Thomason uh, teamed up with with Christiane from Vienna, Austria, and they renewed Holocracy or created kind of an upgraded version, extended it with things that were missing, and they created Encode. So their process is called Encode, and their website is Encode.org, mm -hmm. which uses elements of Holocracy and adds some more some other elements that were missing, you know, and. Uh, Basically, it's, it's one of the cutting edge aspects of integral in the field of, of uh, organizational development and coaching. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so they are going to present that. And Dennis Sweetrock, my dear friend, with whom together we created the Integral European Conferences that time, by now he withdrew from the role of organizing the conference which I'm not surprised because it's a very heavy role. So basically he served for two terms and then he, he, you know, he shifted to do something else and he became part of this ENCODE team. So he's going to be there also as now, now as an ENCODE and holocracy expert. Uh -huh. Cool. So the organizational part is very strong, Jeff. That's one of the strongest aspects of Integral at the, conf at the Integral European Conferences. Mm -hmm. And another big player in the field is the Teal Movement. Have you heard of the Teal Movement? Yes. Yes, but I don't know much about it. Tell me more. Yeah, so the word Teal comes from Ken Wilber's labeling his stages, and the integral stage is labeled in his later works with the Teal color. And, and there is Frédéric Lalou, uh, a Belgian writer who researched uh, 20 plus companies who are operating from an integral altitude who are already operating not just trying or implementing but the criteria was that the company has to work from that stage at least for five years and has to have at least uh, 2,000 uh, workers so it's real stuff and he was you know examining huge companies who are implementing integral principles and uh, Frederick Lalou used Ken Wilber's stage model to describe this. And basically, instead of saying integral companies, he says teal companies right. or companies applying teal principles. So Frederick Lalou came out with his book in 2015. The book is called Reinventing Organizations. And just in the last two, three years, a whole global movement you know, sprang out from, from this that we call today the Teal Movement. And uh, the leaders of this movement, it's, it's not a centralized movement, but there are kind of core players who organize, um, are running a website and living edge that basically reports and collects all kinds of Teal companies and the state, where is the state of art today, reflections. And we invited them to curate the Teal aspect of the Integral Conference. And even for the international teal community, it's the ICE is the place to go where they meet. So we use the ICE as an umbrella uh, gathering for the also for the teal tribe to gather internationally. Yeah, fantastic, Benson. <laughs> yeah, and and it's just so cool to see integral getting traction in all these yeah. ways. Yeah. I mean, it's not unusual these days for me to hear of some sort of an integral initiative that I hadn't heard of before. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I, I knew Lulu and his book and actually yeah. coming out to Boulder. So we're going to be. Fantastic. Uh, he's, yeah. Uh, he sounds like a great guy. I'm really looking yeah. forward to it. Very, very great. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but it's not unusual for me to hear of that now. And, you know, 10 years ago, I knew everything. 
Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and 10 years before that, there wasn't an integral movement. <laughs> Not really. I mean, there were people who read Ken Wilber books, but that yeah. was about it. And so it's really so exciting to see it just catch on as yeah. it should, because it's the emerging edge of human history, for God's sakes. Isn't it? It is. It is. So I'm glad that you are unable to follow, you know, all of this jab because it shows that it, it grew out, you know, from, from the origins to, yes. to a much larger global scale. Fantastic. Yes. So, so, so that, so, so you have the Teal tribe. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to highlight? Well, gosh, there's so much to highlight. I don't even know what, you know, where to grasp and what to think. The reason I highlighted the deal because they get a whole section room for all throughout the conference. We basically create three tracks which have a, um, a room for all throughout the conference because other rooms are filled with different workshoppers or presenters, but there is going to be three rooms which are all the time teal. The second is all the time integral facilitators. And those are probably, you know, people you know. Integral facilitators are, you know, a group of Diane Hamilton, Rebecca uh, Covell, and uh, Rob McNamara from, from Boulder, where you are right now. And, and um, I think... Them I know. Going. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> I said them I know. <laughs> them, no, exactly. <laughs> so no, they're great. They are, they are very good quality, you know, yeah. people. Very good yeah. quality practice. Yeah. I, I, For sure. Yeah, I, I think they are, they are really representing the integral white. Yeah. So, so we are so very anyway, happy. You're, you're doing stuff from all over the place. You have exactly. all these breakouts. Uh, what, 100 plus presenters? 250. 250 presenters, wow. 200 presenters presenting 250 offerings. Wow. Because okay. some people occur in, you know, in different combinations and two times. So, so the total number of offerings in 250 and the number of presenters are around 200. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let me just pause for a second and say, sure. so I think you're getting the idea that this is a major event. If you are interested in Integral and can attend, really consider it. Uh, it's a uh, you know, four quadrant uh, immersion into Integral Consciousness and you will leave a changed person. You will leave having grown in, you know, sort of ways that have a certain permanent acquisition to them. Uh, so I encourage you to do it. It's uh, integraleuropeanconference.com, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I don't, want to end, I don't want to end there, Bensi. I just wanted to okay. put that plug in there while, you know, I was, I was thinking about it because, you know, we want people to come. Yeah. Uh, so anything else you want to highlight before I highlight the goulash party? Oh, go ahead and highlight it. Because that was really fun and you're doing that again. So is we do it again. And at this time we hired the forest actually. And uh, there's a huge summer festival every summer. It's called Samsara Festival. And uh, they have their own territory in a forest. So we we got that forest area and we are going to transfer people with buses as you experienced the first time yeah and at this time we would like to at that time when you were there we we had a, a hungarian folk music band and someone was teaching the crowd you know a circular crowd dance right and this time this time we might have a, a drumming band like tribal drumming with with transylvanian flute which is a trance inducing flute style very ancient in the region so kind of postmodern drum ensemble with this ancient trance flute are probably going to mobilize people to to have a, a tribal dance at night around bonfires in the forest oh fantastic and that's that's saturday night so after, you know after you eat some good goulash and we eat some good goulash soup that you, know, you make you in these big that. vats on open fires is that right they're still going to do it that way yeah that way that's so good yeah exactly so we're going to have that too this time it's on su saturday evening great all right and then there's also the bus tour after for people uh, who yeah. tour hungary and that was so much fun uh 
last time and we stayed in really nice places and Hungary is a very beautiful country. And so, yeah. you know, consider People that. usually figure that, wow, I'm in a new country. I'm in another culture. I, I spent five, six days in a hotel inside. You know, I want to see the country. Yeah. So, and uh, it's really when you get to a different culture that you start, it, it starts to down, down on you that, that it's worth to look around, you know, and, and to learn and to, to absorb the vibes. So having that impulse from many participants coupled with good company of integral fellows and, you know, an insider's leadership for the tour, that's the integral tour that we are going to do right after the conference. So when it ends, uh, next day morning, some people go to the airport and some others take this tour bus and come with us for, for a three-day touring, visiting different historic, cultural, and spiritual sites of the country. Mm. Right on. It's, 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 all, it's all new itinerary. So if, if, if someone was there at the first or the second, it's still going to offer new places. Oh, cool. Excellent. Actually, the second day is going to offer a sweat lodge ceremony. Hmm. So, so part of this three-day is, is a spiritual ceremony. And you might wonder why sweat lodge in Hungary. It's Native American, isn't it? Actually, it's not only Native American. Uh, records show, uh, evidence show, that in the Middle Ages in Hungary, there were sweat lodges. And they didn't take it from the Native Americans, but they took it from the ancient Hungarian traditions, which is, uh, you know, the Mongolian Central Asian tradition. The Hungarians came from there. So kind of a shamanistic um, um, tradition that we have Hungarians are, are going to be presented for the tour participants in a light way, of course, but we want them to see what the Hungarians do when they do spiritual work. You know, what was the local flavor, what's the local root? And they are going to have a first person, you know, experience with, mm. with a local teacher who is going to teach us, uh, you know, some, some basic local spirituality, Vedation truths, and having a sweat lodge as the ancestors used to have. So there's going to kind of, you know, a, a spiritual edge to this otherwise you know, comfortable tourist tour that we're going to do. Right on. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. yeah. All, all together from Suzanne's course till the end of the tour is 13 days. So, so basically, days. Yeah. If, if, yeah. if you want to take the whole thing, it's, it's 13 days, two yeah. weeks, right? If right. someone wants to take just the strict conference part, that's, that's uh, five days. So, yeah. you know, you, viewers can choose, go to the website, see the types of tickets, see through the program on that chart and, you know, see what's, uh, what's the most dear and exciting to you. Yeah. And, and, and let me just do one final personal testimonial. If this pulls you and is interesting to you, go. So, Thank all you, right. Jeff. And it's integraleuropeanconference.com. Allies exactly. of Evolution. And that we God are. bless you, Bense, for being an ally to evolution. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, for being an ally too, and to have me tonight for this call. My great privilege. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bense Gante. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>